Dude, Anthony, did you do your math homework last night? Nah, I got confused on the part where it asked what color the train was. Yeah, same here. Did you finish it, Logan? No, I was up till three last night. Holy shit, doing what? <sighs> Tweeting. Okay, class, today we're gonna continue with our presentations. Miss Blah, I'm not sure if my PowerPoint's gonna work. I recorded it on VHS. Jarvis, we've been over this. It's pronounced Miss Blah, not Blah. First to go today is gonna be Casey. Hey guys, oh, check this- Oh, Derek, did you get your math done? What? No. Guys, check this out. This is gonna be so funny. I kept Casey up for the past three days high off cough medicine. He wrote his entire speech this weekend, and now he's about to go give his presentation. How'd you do that? I'll, I'll tell you later. Shh, he's starting. Okay, guys. So for my presentation, I'm here to talk about the horrors of the... Cotton Candy Slaughterhouse! High in the stratosphere, lone clouds frolic and play, not giving a care of the world. Suddenly, the shot of a harpoon gun is heard. The cloud screams in pain as the harpoon impales its fragile person. The cloud is then reeled in by a pirate ship that flies and is then taken to a factory where it is hung for 24 hours executed, flavored, and then packed into a grinder. What comes out is sweet, delicious cotton candy, which is consumed by millions each day. Our stratosphere is rapidly depleting, and do you know who is all responsible for this inhumanity? What? Tell us. The man responsible is none other than Joseph Coney! No! No! Yes, I'm afraid it's true. If we do not stop Coney, we will lose the stratosphere. Thank you. Oh my god, I had no idea. Casey, that was an incredible speech. I'm going to inform the principal right away. Oh god, this is too good. I'm posting this online right now. Dude, don't. Shut up, Cade! Okay, title, save the stratosphere, stop Coney. Perfect. We need to do something. We need to do something. Guys, I just uploaded Casey's speech on YouTube. We should share it on Facebook to, you know, spread awareness. We need to do something, you guys. Hashtag stop Coney. Well, I don't know about you, but I heard Joseph Coney stealing clouds. Welcome to the Wakoff Session. Your host, Chuck Wakoff. In other news, should we be at all concerned about the possibility of losing our stratosphere to Joseph Coney? Joining me is some government official. Well, Chuck, to be frank, yes. Absolutely f***ing yes. Guys, what happened? I don't remember the last three days. That's funny, because you're all over the web, dude. What?! Yeah, man, you shouldn't drink so much cough medicine. Congratulations, Casey. I just heard you got invited to speak at a TED conference in San Diego this Saturday. But... but no! I don't want to go! I'm afraid you don't have a choice, dollface. You caused quite a stir yesterday. Hmm. But I don't even know what I did! So, uh, Casey, you might want to size up before Saturday, huh? No! I should tell everyone the truth! No, Casey, this will be much funnier. This is all getting out of hand. I'm going to go tell the truth on Saturday, and everything's going to turn out fine. I can't believe people are actually buying this. I mean, come on. Pirate ships don't fly. Come on, man. Double time. We're not losing the stratosphere on my watch. If it has sails and flies, it's dead. So interestingly enough, we find that just by verbally abusing students, we can eliminate most of the problems caused by ADHD and see immediate results. Thank you. Bravo! I can't 
can't wait to try this technique on my third grader at home. In the past couple days, he's seen a movement explode across the world in support to stop a criminal at large. Such support for a cause hasn't been seen since the Holocaust. And without further ado, the boy who brought this to our attention, Casey Williams. So, I'm here today to give you a speech about Joseph Coney. Instead, I'm going to tell you the truth and put an end to all of this. Before I gave my presentation in class, I spent the time before high on cough medicine, and during my trip, I fantasized the entire thing. And when I gave the speech, I was still high. So I just want to come clean and tell everybody right now. So how do we stop him? No, you don't understand. The whole thing was a hallucination. It's not real. Everyone, come quick. You have to see this. Hurry, it's Coney. See, look, it's Coney. What? Uh.